What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and I get a lot of these questions from network engineers. You guys ask me, Hussein, how can I move from network engineering to back engineering? And you guys, back engineering is the perfect spot for network engineering. You guys have a, a perfect slot that you guys fit in because your skills are with what? Communication, networking, right? So you are adept and expert in sniffing packages, learning how to TCP works, learn how UDP works, and guess what? Everything in backend engineering, now that we split up everything into services most of the time, we deal with communication in everything that has to do with back engineering almost all the time. So we communicate, and guess what? What, what do we use for communication? HTTP mostly, gRPC, WebSocket, and guess what? All of these are built on HTTP, which is built on TCP. So your skills just fit very nicely in this. So one uh, in, the, in the video that I discussed, in the backend engineering video, check it out right here, I discussed the different first principle fundamentals that different sectors of backend engineering is there, as I see it personally. And Network engineers have the advantage to fit right into two spots, the proxies and the communication protocol. So let's quickly discuss how proxies can help network engineers uh, level up there and then become really good at just general working with proxies. So example, rev proxies, reverse proxies, load balancers, caching layers are all backend engineering uh, components that are required for almost any architecture that you build in the in the backend for you when you want to do a load balancing that is a reverse proxy what is that that's a server that listens on a given port and that accepts communication and then forwards it up to a backend or a sets of backends services which are just another servers based on certain criteria based on different filters how what is the similar thing that is networking you guys work with firewall that's exactly that's exactly very similar except network engineers you guys will live at layer two layer three if you're gonna work jump onto layer four you barely jump to the application layer you don't work with that i watched enough networking videos to know that you don't care what happened it's just data to you guys so now with proxies you're gonna be working at a higher level so you're gonna minimum you're gonna be working at layer four and layer seven mainly because you're gonna deal with these things all right switches routers that the the devices that you guys work on on a daily basis are all devices that work at layer two in case of switch and layer three and four in case of routers, because you're going to route layers of natting and you do network address translations, stuff like that. These skills fit perfectly in the proxies layer, in the in their building proxies. Just learn how different proxies work. Learn how Nginx work. Learn how HA proxy work. Learn how Envoy work. And learn about all of their stuff, how these different proxies work. So that's just one area in backend engineer that you can specialize in. And you guys are gonna become better than any of us software engineers in this because you have the bad uh, the, the backbone knowledge to help you advance even faster than any of us because you know how things work in the networking you just need to pick up how the application does things and, and we need really good engineers at this area especially proxies reverse proxies load balancing caching layers which is just just a almost like a firewall but plays at the higher levels essentially so that's essentially just one uh, place that network engineering you guys can fit in the second point is con communication protocols you guys built the tcp protocol and the udb protocol right and you made it very very efficient with those headers and very very minimal minimal headers when you to build the tcp so we need also backend engineers that are great on building new communication protocols or contributing to the existing communication protocols such as gRPC, HTTP2, um, WebSockets, 
and other protocols as well. So learning these protocols and trying to fix what is broken in them, because nothing is perfect, obviously, trying to learn this and trying to be adept and expert, I hate the word expert, trying to be more knowledgeable in these, you're gonna get a great advantage. You'll be unstoppable as network engineers because that's just a natural path to fit in. One final thing that network engineer can help improve back in engineering is to question and call out everything that the application does. If there is an additional packet or an additional request that is not supposed to go there, you guys should call us out. It says, okay, guys, why are we sending seven packets and we're doing seven acknowledgements here? That's just unacceptable. Why is the application doing that? So you go to the application, look at the application, understand why the application is doing that and try to fix it so it doesn't. Or try to understand why it doesn't because if there is a good reason behind it. So that's another point I'd like to add. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. It's very short just to tell you guys where you can fit. So you can either pick communication protocol or proxies in my, in my opinion. Obviously you can pick any other. You can be a database engineer, but you, it's almost like an 180 shift in my opinion. Network engineering, you guys fit very naturally in proxies, load balancing, reverse proxies, and all these caching layers, varnish, right? That's, that's another reverse proxy that acts like a caching layer, which is very, very critical. Serverless, guys. Serverless is, there is a backbone reverse proxy that all serverless architecture is based upon. The reverse proxy accepts these calls and then route and decide to increase the load or decrease the load based on the load of these requests. And these requests are nothing but application requests, not TCP packets. That's what, you, uh, that's what I, I thought, I think that the difficulty in a network engineer, to end this video, are just moving from looking at things and just packets to looking at this as a collection of packets that form a request a logical request and a logical response. And what does that mean? You guys, once you make that leap, you'll be unstoppable. I hope you become great backend engineers. Hope that video helps. Give it a like if it did. Share it with your friends. And we welcome network engineers in this great community. Thank you so much. Goodbye.